All right, welcome to another ZBrush tutorial, this time on unwrapping in ZBrush. First up, you can go to ZBrush plugin and UV master. After that, I'll make sure to select work on clone. Now this will ensure that we are working on a cloned version of the lowest subdivision of the mesh we are using. So if we mess anything up, it won't affect the original. Next up, I'll switch off symmetry and if you want this on, then leave it on obviously. And after that, I will select enable control painting. This will paint areas that ZBrush will read as either areas available for cutting seams, attract, which is blue, or areas that shouldn't be cut, protect, areas that are red. After that, you can fill the whole mesh with protect, aka red, and then paint the areas you want ZBrush to make cuts on, aka blue. Another trick would be to use the Z modeler, BZM, and select mask edge loop. You can then invert the selection and fill that with blue or attract, and that will create a neat line for it to cut around. And after you've marked out the areas that you want, you can finally click on unwrap. This will run the script and it will create a one UV island. You can then view this by either clicking on check seams to see the seams in ZBrush, or you can click on the flatten button to see the result. Now obviously this isn't something you'd want to use for a face, so to negate this we can either use creases or even better we can use poly groups in conjunction with painting like this. Now all we have to do is paint the seams we want in between the polygroups and select polygroups before unwrapping so it treats each polygroup as one UV island. And this is what we get. By the way, to get these polygroups you can either use Ctrl plus Shift click and drag and then press Ctrl W to set these new groups. You could also Ctrl plus Shift click on an edge that rings around the mesh like this to hide a ring of polygons and then use Auto Group to separate the two pieces then finally you can Ctrl Shift click on a point that connects two polygroups to grab them both and then use Ctrl W once again to group them as one. Now another thing you can do is move the UVs while in the flat view. Just use the gizmo and Ctrl click on the UVs to move them. And something cool that ZBrush does is if you move the UVs outside of the tiles after you click unflatten and flatten again it will auto scale the UVs so it doesn't clip the edges. Oh and to get out of this view by the way just click unflatten. Finally, to make use of these newly created UVs, you can copy the UVs from here and then paste them on the original mesh from way back at the start of this video. And to check if your UVs actually work, you can go to texture map down over here and then create from UV check. You'll then see a generated map appear. You can also go to UV map and morph the UVs to see them with your actual model. Make sure to do this on the lower subdivisions, by the way. And while we are still here going through UVs, let's go through exporting your mesh, UVing them in another program, and then importing them back into ZBrush. Well, all you have to do is export the clone, unwrap that in a program of your choice, I'm using Blender here by the way, and then import that back into ZBrush. Now, what I'm doing here in Blender is selecting the seams, right clicking, and then selecting mark seam to mark these lines as a seam. After that, you can press U, then unwrap to have Blender unwrap the mesh. And after importing the mesh, you can then copy the UVs and then paste them on the original mesh like we did before. And super important note, by the way, do not change the mesh while in another program. What I mean by this is that you can't add more loops or minus some polygons, etc. The vertex, edge and polygon count needs to stay the same. This is referred to as vertex order and also applies in ZBrush. So once you're on the lower subdivision, don't try and add loops. And one last thing, because ZBrush likes to annoy you, you will notice that the UVs have been flipped when you bring them in from another program. Now if you don't want this, which is usually the case, make sure to go to UV map, adjust and then flip V and this will fix the issue. And hey, that's about it. If you want more information on sculpting, drawing, etc, you can check out my new website, watch more videos on my channel or come and chat on the Discord channel. Links down below.